Hello and welcome back. This is Kriya with Game Domain. Gaming has always been a fairly positive form of entertainment, but like anything, there are always hundreds of hidden aspects that have turned into what is known in the internet as creepy pastas. When it comes to these hidden dark aspects of certain titles, video game companies and developers are always incredibly quick to deny that their games had anything of a dark and sinister tone in it. Now, as lifelong gamers, we find it pretty hard to believe these developers every time they come out with a statement to try and cover up the hidden negative mysteries that revolve around their games. This is similar to what Disney does, when they come out and cover up all the problems with their cinema and amusement parks, as nothing can go wrong in the magical world of Disney. This is eerily similar to what we have with these game developers, and more specifically, Nintendo. Nintendo has always been the very happy gaming company, as 9 out of 10 Nintendo games are all positive and made for people to be happy. But even in these happy titles, there are underlying dark and sinister themes that have been picked apart and made into internet creepypastas, most of which are very believable and arguably true. So with that said, we are calling this new series Uncovered, and we figured that there was no better way to kick off this series than making a video about the most infamous of internet creepypastas, the Lavender Town Syndrome. Now, let's get into the video. Pokemon is coming up on its 24th anniversary, with that of course being February 27th, 2020. This will mark 24 years since the franchise was kicked off in Japan, which we all know was via the launch of the original Pokemon Red and Green. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, the original games were the Red version and the Green version in Japan, and then Green was swapped for Blue once the series made the trip over to the States. The release of this game would also lead to the start of one of the internet's most infamous gaming creepypastas, which originated back in 2010. An anonymous user of the website, Pastebin, made a post regarding the outbreak of what would become Lavender Town Syndrome. He alleged that back after the game's initial release in Japan, there was a large spike in child suicide and illnesses between the ages of 7 and 12. The number that was alleged was 200 children committing suicide in the spring of 1996, due to them playing the game. The user then went into how the commonality among all of them was that they had all reached a certain point of the brand new Pokemon Red and Green, that being Lavender Town, a quaint town on the eastern edge of the Cantonian map. This town is home to the Pokemon Tower, which is arguably the creepiest place in Pokemon. This Pokemon graveyard has been at the forefront subject of many other Pokemon creepypastas, and it's no surprise that it was somewhat involved in this one as well. The story went on to describe how the main effect this town had on the kids was the Lavender Town music, which had a very odd and creepy tone and pitch to it. The user alleged that the high frequency of the notes in the original song in Red and Green led to kids falling ill, getting nosebleeds, and suffering brain injuries, all of which ultimately leading to the alleged suicide of 200 children. This story quickly caught the eyes of thousands of Pokemon fans around the world, and it would eventually be heard by millions of gamers across many different platforms, the main of which being 4chan. 4chan made this creepypasta spread like wildfire, and diehard fans began to go skeptical of what was going on. The fanbase did a deep dive into the actual argument posed by this anonymous user, and began to study all aspects of the story. They started by listening to the original soundbite of the theme from the Japanese Red and Green, and doctors were able to verify and prove that the high-pitched notes did in fact have an effect on the developing brain of a younger child, but adults had already grown immune to being harmed by such notes. Others chose to examine the theme from the American Red and Blue and came to a stunning conclusion. The pitch of the notes in the American version was much lower, and officials proved them to be not damaging to children like in the original Japanese versions. This indicated that there may have been, in fact, some truth to this story and that Nintendo had been covering it up all along. Another factor that came into play was that the Lavender Town music was changed completely in the Generation 2 games that released only a few years later, and this could have perhaps been another attempt to cover things up. This urban legend of sorts has existed on the internet for almost 10 years now, and the fanbase is not as split on the topic as they used to be. Many prominent Pokemon and Game Freak officials have come out and debunked the claims, even some Japanese police officials had spoken about it, which added a lot more credibility to the debunking of the story. But to this day, we still have no true or real confirmation on whether or not this story was true, as the only thing that remains is people's personal opinions on whether or not these facts add up. But even if we may never find out the truth surrounding Lavender Town, it will always be a massive part of Pokemon's past, and one that will likely always be there a stain on what is otherwise a beautiful, happy, and playful world. 
But actually, there's a lot more where this came from. The Pokemon world may seem all happy on the cover, but when you look closer, there are a lot more hidden mysteries than you think. And that doesn't just go for Pokemon. It goes for all of Nintendo, and all of gaming as a whole. So be sure to stick around on our channel for future episodes of Uncovered, as there's plenty of content left to cover. What do you guys think of today's video? Are you excited for this new series? Let us know in the comment section below, and give us your personal opinion on if you believe this creepypasta or not. While you're down there, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. And don't forget to check out some of our more recent videos, which we'll leave links for in the description, as well as our Patreon and Discord. Check out our Patreon, where you can donate to our cause and contribute to the great videos we produce. Some benefits of becoming a Patreon member include seeing future videos a day early, as well as having your name displayed at the end of our content. Our Discord is open to you guys to come and chat with our staff members and each other about gaming, so don't be afraid to join. Down in the description, we also have links to our merchandise stores, where you can purchase an array of game domain merch ranging from mouse pads to even phone cases. Stay tuned to the channel for more great content, and thanks for watching today's episode of Uncovered.